Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2018 and up Chrysler Pacifica van. What you see here is what they call the UAG um, system. This is the seven inch touchscreen radio. This is the entry level radio for the Chrysler Pacifica. Today I wanna to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade to the UAV system. That's the full 8.4 inch with built in navigation. It's a 100% factory radio programmed here at infotainment.com. Um, those of you who have 2017 Pacificas, you do have something similar to this here, except for it doesn't have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto feature. The 2017 calls it the RA2 system. Those who have 2017s can upgrade to this UAG and they can also upgrade to the full uh, UAV um, 8.4 inch touchscreen with built-in Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But for this instance here, we're in a 2018 and up Pacifica. Um, so we're gonna remove this UAG system and today's install video, we're gonna show you the UAV. Um, so to get started, basically, you're gonna shut the vehicle off. It is recommended that you disconnect the negative battery terminal when you're doing anything uh, with the electronics of the vehicle itself. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do is just kinda grab a hold of this um, bezel screen here it's just held in with retaining clips so just kind of grab on one side and just kind of pull it away you're not going to break anything it is held in with retaining clips once you do that you'll notice the uh, uag system here um, just a couple connectors you're going to remove and then you're going to remove this larger connector by pushing in the tab over here and then lifting up and that'll remove it from um, the connector there or the port and then last but not least you do have the little USB you push the tab in and remove that you can now pull this away all right the first thing we're gonna do here is remove these two Phillips head screws uh, they're also seven millimeter um, they could be used uh, for either but in this case we're just gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver a short one Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this bracket. Now this isn't 100% necessary. It does make things a little bit easier and it is included with our kit. So we're gonna slide that into place here. Then we're gonna utilize those same two screws and put them right back in. Another thing you wanna be careful or be cognizant of is we want the wiring to be within this bracket here. All right, now that those two screws are in, we can fold this metal part back. Uh, there is another location in the back here where you can put another screw, uh, but not completely necessary. You got these two screws in here. Now what we can do is we can install our upgrade kit. So basically this is our upgrade kit here. Um, we're going to plug this harness into here. Snap that into place. We're gonna tuck this back in this little cubby here. And then what we're gonna do is take our UAV module, which is here. We're gonna plug all the existing connectors into it along with our new video cable. So we'll do that now. We can tuck some of the slack behind the radio cubby here of the video cable. Then we'll be able to mount um, the six screws that are included. There'll be one up here, one there, and then four around the perimeter. All right, now that we have our six seven millimeter screws in place, we can go ahead and plug in our screen. Now our screen is our main video cable here, and this connector here is your, um, your power and ground and your CAN signal. So we'll plug these in here with these molded connectors. And then we can pop this into the exact spot of the old system. Okay, now that we have this all popped into place, I did wanna mention that um, you may or may not get this replacement screen bezel with the uh, air vents already inside. That's no problem. If it comes to you without the air vents, you could take them out of your old system or your old screen 
uh, bezel. It just little tabs on the side. The whole air vent comes out and just snaps into place. So that just takes a second there. Uh, but anyways, now that we have it all buttoned up, let's go ahead and turn the vehicle on. Right away, you notice the nice 8.4 inch screen. Um, in some cases, what we're gonna have to do is shut the vehicle off um, and let it sleep, which we'll allow it to do now. Um, what we're gonna do by doing that is allow the BCM of the vehicle to fully um, integrate itself with the newly installed system. So we went ahead and shut the vehicle off. We'll leave it off for a few minutes and then we'll come back in the vehicle. All right, now that we uh, shut the vehicle off, we let it sleep here for a few minutes. So let's go ahead and fire it up. We now know it's fully working. The SXM icon is showing, um, and then it did show the heated seat icons. Um, as I mentioned, sometimes when you shut it down for a little bit, it just gives it a little bit of time to get acquainted with the vehicle and the BCM. Um, but these are all pre-programmed for a plug and play install. Um, as I mentioned before, this does work in the 2017 as well, but also 2018 and up, which it's factory designed for. Uh, you do retain your uh, backup camera, your steering wheel controls, um, so on and so forth. But you do have the nice big 8.4 inch touchscreen here. Um, here on the left side, you'll notice your AM, FM, uh, satellite radio. It does come with HD radio there as well. Um, SXM will work there through your media port here. Um, this will work through your USB input, Bluetooth streaming audio, or auxiliary input. Climate you'll be able to control through here and on through your climate controls. Your apps here will show you the different services or, or different apps that um, you can um, you could utilize. You can also hold it and drag and drop it down to the area you want. Another cool thing that we do here in the settings menu, uh, within the display or within display, you can set the theme. So if you wanna change the design of the layout, the colors, the icons themselves, you can do that through the set theme, which is kinda neat. Um, controls here, this particular vehicle does have heated seats, so you can turn them on through the screen. Um, this is the UAV system. Um, so it does have built-in navigation. This is an awesome navigation system. Um, you're not fooling around with your phone. You don't have something clumsy on your windshield. This is factory Chrysler um, built-in navigation. Um, you can see it pinpoint our location immediately. Um, it is the pinch to zoom here, which is really neat. It's a responsive touch screen. Uh, just a really, really nice uh, navigation system here. Um, back in here, you can go in through the nav settings. You can change 2D, 3D. Uh, your map setup, the appearance, what you want your icon to look at, look um, look like. Um, obviously, wherever you want to go to, whether it's an address, point of interest, favorites, uh, once you store your home, you can do that there. Um, just a really slick navigation system here in the UAV. And then last here, you have the, the phone. So you will have to pair your phone again, just follow the prompts to pair it. Um, just an awesome system here. Um, something I wanted to notate real quick, you can save a little bit of money if you go with our UAR system. You're going to still get the nice big 8.4 inch touchscreen, um, but it will not have the factory nav feature. Um, so that's something to look out for too. On our website, we explain all these options as well. Um, but those of you who want to utilize Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, um, you're going to plug it into your USB port just below the console. And now you'll be able to utilize Apple CarPlay, whether you want to um, make or receive phone calls through the phone, Apple Music for those who have the Apple Music. Um, the Maps feature here is really cool. Um, you know, it'll obviously give you directions to wherever you want to go to. Messages. Um, as messages come in, you'll see a slide bar come up and that will read. Uh, you could press it and it'll read your text messages to you. It asks you if you want to reply to it very easy to do you to say yes and you can tell it what you want to reply to the sender with just a really cool safety feature there now playing if you have spotify or pandora whatever uh, you can click that podcast audiobooks uh, in this case we utilize spotify those of you who have spotify um, can utilize it there um, just a really cool system here so 
Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatible. Great for those who are at the 2017 vehicles that want to upgrade to this. But uh, come check us out, infotainment.com. We have a lot of stuff, not only for the Pacifica, but for all your domestic vehicles, including Toyota as well. Thanks for watching, guys.